Some goals are so worthy, it's glorious even to fail. These are the words that are etched in the depths of the diary of Paramveer Chakra, Captain Manoj Kumar Pandey. Before we hear the story of this brave heart, let me give you a little background. This is a saga of supreme bravery and sacrifice. The saga where there were countless acts of gallantry, displays of steely resilience, sacrifices and single-minded devotion to duty. This is a saga of Kargil War. 6th May 1999 The first reports that there were intruders came in from a shepherd. Scores of Pakistani troops and paramilitary forces, some allegedly in the guise of Mujahideen, infiltrated into the territory on the Indian side of the LOC. And it took the army some time to determine the size of and the extent of the intrusion. Pakistani forces had intruded well across the LOC in the Mushko, Dras, Kaksar and Batalik sectors. A patrol was sent out that never returned and it was only on 10th June 1999 that the Pakistani army returned to India. The brutally mutilated bodies of Major Saurabh Kalia, the patrol leader, and his five soldiers. The extent of penetration and vital points was such that neither artillery nor air power could dislodge the enemy forces as they were not in a visible range. So the soldiers had to be sent for direct ground assaults at peaks as high as 18,000 feet and where their temperatures were as low as minus 15 degrees Celsius. As daylight attack would have been suicidal, all the attacks had to be made under the cover of darkness. The tricolor was eventually unfurled on every peak, but this was achieved at a great loss. 25 officers, 436 Javans were killed and 54 officers and 629 Javans were wounded in Kargil. Many were disabled for life. It was in these daunting circumstances that four heroes of the Kargil war won Paramveer Chakra, but only two could live to tell the tale of their valor. About the other two? We know from the testimonies of comrades who fought beside them, witnessed their acts of glory and then brought their bodies home. Today, I bring to you the story of unalloyed heroism of one of those heroes, Paramveer Chakra, Captain Manoj Kumar Pandey. Episode 3 of The Light The 111 Gorkha Rifles Battalion had finished a one and a half year tenure in the Siachen Glacier and was on the move to its peacetime location in Pune when the intrusion was reported. The battalion was asked to move to the Batalik sector in Kargil. The situation was tense. 111 Gorkha Rifles, under the command of then Colonel Lalit Rai, was one of the first regiments to reach Ground Zero. Soon enough, they were tasked to recapture Jubar Top and retrieve the bodies of the dead soldiers who were murdered in the early attempts to flush out the intruders. The bodies had been lying there for more than 10 days since the Kargil War had started. All efforts to retrieve the bodies were failed as the enemy would fire indiscriminately the moment any activity was spotted from the Indian side. Anoj volunteered to retrieve the bodies insisting that they should be wrapped in the tricolor and sent home to their families. He and his men had crept behind boulders and climbed the heights reaching higher than the enemy. Manoj had been one of the first to reach and had boldly crawled up to his dead comrade, pulled his body and when he looked at his dead mate, his heart burned with rage as his body was brutalized beyond recognition. He shouted, you bloody dogs, I'll throw you out of my country, he had promised. It was a miraculous retrieval. This was Captain Manoj Kumar Pandey 
who had helped in successfully capturing the Jubar top in the Patalik sector. Born in Ruda village in Kamlapur, Tehsil of Sitapur district in Uttar Pradesh, Manoj was the eldest son of Sri Gopichand Pandey and Srimati Mohini Pandey. He was brought up in humble circumstances. Being the eldest son, his parents' efforts to make ends meet were never hidden from him. He was an outstanding student and wanted to do well in life so that he could give his family all the happiness they couldn't afford right now. He wouldn't ask for new clothes till the old ones started showing tears. His love for the motherland became an obsession and he decided to join the army. When he walked down for a service selection board interview for NDA, the interviewing officer asked, Why do you want to join the army? I want to win the Paramvir Chakra, he replied. 2nd to 3rd July 1999 On 2nd July, orders were issued to clear up the enemy positions in Kalobar in the Batalik sector. By now, the men had been on almost continuous assignments, climbing the steep mound and plead the task they had been sent for. There was no turning back now. As his platoon approached its final objective for the Pahalwan Chauki, located at a height of 19,700 feet, and they were 400 meters short of their aim, another volley of fire lit up the sky. Manoj knew the guns were lined up on the highway all along the Indus, firing at least 20,000 rounds at a time to distract the enemy. However, this time the fire seemed to be coming dangerously close. Take cover, Manoj shouted. This looks like enemy fire. From behind the boulder, where he had taken cover, Manoj looked out. Around him was death and destruction. As the platoon faced heavy and intense enemy fire from both sides of the hillock, Captain Manoj came to know that there were six Sangars when they thought it would only be two. Captain Manoj quickly moved his platoon to an advantageous position under intense enemy fire. He chose four Sangars for himself and assigned two or two to another officer. He sent one section to clear the enemy positions from the right and he himself proceeded to clear the enemy positions from the left. He knew they would have to storm the enemy in a daring daylight attack right now. He made up his mind. Manoj stood up tall and brave. He ordered his men to follow him. Like a mighty superhero and a warrior with invincible powers, he walked through the barrage of bullets. All his Gorkha Jawans picked themselves up and walked right behind him. Their cookeries gripped firmly in their hands. The men charged like angry lions. Captain Manoj walked into the curtain of bullets to reach the first bunker on the ridge. He could make out the shadowy outlines of two Pakistani Northern Light Infantry soldiers. His hand gripped the handle of his cookery and whipped it out in a silken move. He ran across the uneven terrain, jumping over boulders in the falling snow. His face, a ghastly mask of death, fell upon the enemy soldiers, ferocious and proud. The blades sliced into human flesh right to left, left to right, then again, then again. The bodies of the shocked Pakistanis fell in a pile with terror written in their eyes. They could have never imagined that someone would walk in through the deadly fire. Sprinting across to the second bunker, the men fiercely pounce upon the enemy and a bloody hand-to-hand -hand combat follows. Jai Mahakali, Ayo Gorkhali pierced the cold morning. Some of the enemy soldiers charge with their bayonets, but most find they are no match for the gutsy Gorkhas with the lethal cookeries that are splashing blood on the wet rocks. Suddenly, Manoj winced. He has been hit in the shoulder by a bullet. Unconcerned, he takes out his gun and moves on to the next bunker, showering a hail of bullets on the ones hiding there. Another bullet hit him in the leg, making him stagger unsteadily. 
Na chodnu, he cried out in Gorkhali, which meant don't leave them, telling his men to carry on the carnage and drag this injured leg forward. Reaching out for a grenade, he flung it with all his might at the fourth bunker from where mortar fire was coming at them. Even as an explosion filled the sky creating a cloud, a fatal shot bursts through the air and hits the officer in the forehead. His whole body is wrecked by terrible pain, his lungs gasping for breath and his tongue is dry and swollen with thirst. He wants to go on and shoot the Pakistani soldier he can see leaping out of the burning bunker and race down the slope but his disobedient body had stopped listening to his commands. His arms let go of the rifle he has been holding. His fingers lose their grip on the trigger. His knees buckle under him and his neck slumps forward on his heaving chest. Blood courses down his face, blurring his vision. Finally, he closes his eyes. Captain Manoj Kumar Pandey of 111 Gorkha Rifles is no more. His blood-stained body falls gently to the ground in front of the fourth bunker of Kalubar. He was 24 years and 7 days old. The troops under the command of Captain Manoj gained control over six bunkers and killed 11 enemy soldiers besides getting a good stock of arms and ammunition, including an air defense gun. Kalubar was eventually captured and Captain Manoj Kumar Pandey, with a supreme sacrifice, not only set an example of unparalleled bravery, but changed the course of Kargil War. Captain Manoj Kumar Pandey was given the nation's highest gallantry award, Paramveer Chakra, for his outstanding courage, leadership and devotion to duty. If death strikes before I prove my blood, I promise I will kill death. These are the words from the diary of Paramveer Chakra Captain Manoj Kumar Pandey. He proved his blood and he also won the Paramveer Chakra, the Armed Forces' Highest Gallantry Award. Unfortunately, he did not live to wear it alive. Before I end this testimony of undaunted courage, raw bravery and supreme sacrifice, I would like to end it with the Paramveer Chakra citation which reads as this. Lieutenant Manoj Kumar Pandey, a young officer of the 111 Gorkha Rifles, took part in a series of poorly led attacks during Operation Vijay, forcing back the intruders with heavy losses in Batalik, including the capture of Jubar Top. His finest hour was during the advance to Kalubar when he was number 5 platoon commander. On the night of 2nd and 3rd July 1999, as the platoon approached its final objective, it came under heavy and intense enemy fire from the surrounding heights. The officer was tasked to clear the interfering enemy positions so as to prevent his battalion from getting daylighted, being in a vulnerable position. The officer quickly moved his platoon to an advantageous position under intense enemy fire and sent one section to clear the enemy positions from the right while he himself proceeded to clear four other enemy positions on the left. Fearlessly assaulting the first enemy position, he killed two enemy personnel and proceeded to assault the second and destroyed it by killing two more enemy personnel. Lieutenant Manoj Kumar Pandey was injured on the shoulder and legs by enemy fire while clearing the third position. Undaunted and without caring for his grievous injury, he led the assault on the fourth position, urging his men and destroyed the same with a grenade, even as he got a fatal medium machine gun burst on his forehead. It is the singular daredevil act of the officer which provided the critical firm base for the companies which finally led to the capture of Kalubar. Lieutenant Manoj Kumar Pandey thus showed most conspicuous bravery, indomitable courage, exemplary personal valour, 
outstanding leadership and devotion to duty of an exceptionally high order in the face of the enemy and made the supreme sacrifice in the highest tradition of the army. End of citation. Dead upon the field of glory, hero fit for song and story. This was the story of the hero of Batalik, Paramveer Chakra, Captain Manoj Kumar Pandey. Jai Hind!